We're back downtown Vancouver and it sure feels good to be at home and still see, I like my gloves, and still see leaves falling off the trees because technically it's still the tail end of fall here. And it feels great to be at the tail end of fall when I just finished spending way too much time in cold weather. See, look at The leaves are still coming off the trees. All right, I'm going to get myself some morning pastries. And then today, we got to pick up some mail. I'm a little worried about how much stuff is actually in my mailbox. It might be just stacked and stacked and stacked. Hey, Cruz. A lemon blueberry scone from Cobb's Bread. Yes, please. These are all papers for big packages they had to sign for since I've been gone. It's been like three and a half, four months. That's a lot of packages. How do I even start to go through these? Packages and letters and little boxes and medium-sized boxes and giant boxes and all of these here These I ordered myself. There's a stack of these little envelopes here. I ordered these ones on my own um, A little quick backstory on this because I don't want this video to be forever long but as a kid there was a DJ in Toronto in the 80s and the 90s and early 2000s, but 80s and 90s at the most, that was my biggest DJ influence. His name was DJ Chris Shepard. And he was also an underground rave DJ at the time named DJ Dog Whistle. So check these out. I went out and bought, I've been trying to buy, slowly and gradually, I wanna buy his entire collection of music that he's ever, ever put out. And they're all mixed CDs. So I started, there's a website called Discogs which is pretty much, if you're looking for anything music-wise, Discogs will have it. There will be a, some collector somewhere that has it. So I've been picking up all of his CDs, including old ones, and some of these I picked up for like three bucks. Because a lot of people are like, who's this Chris Shepard dude? He's just a Canadian DJ that was huge in the Canadian dance scene here. So instead of opening these up on camera, these are just a part of the collection. He doesn't have very many albums. Dropping stuff. He doesn't have very many albums out. I think there's about 20, maybe 25 of them, and I would love to pick up all of the CDs. So let's get into this. This one's from Sheila. What's going on here, Sheila? What belongs to what? What belongs to who? A place for your bananas or potatoes, garlic, onion, or apple. Oh, sweet. A sack for my bananas or my potatoes or apples or oranges or whatever. What's going on? Is this something for disco? A little card thing. It looks like it's handmade. And it says February 14th, 2019. Rest in peace, disco. Oh, it's got a little cut out of his face on it. Sheila, thank you for the letter and thank you for this. This was very, very sweet. Um, I'm gonna read the letter. I'm not gonna do it on camera. Sheila, thank you. I love getting stuff from you guys. You know that? Like, absolutely love it. This one's heavy. From Amazon to Van City Van Life. <laughs> Someone made a comment saying that this is the best barbecue sauce in the damn world. We'll put that one to the test. Okay, hold on, what's, it, what's this say? By the way, if you send stuff from Amazon, make sure you include one of these. Note from Nicole, enjoy your gift. You need to taste this with your nachos from, from Missouri, USA, from Computer Chick. Thank you for these. All right, well, let's, let's, not, let's not mess around. Let's, let's get into this. Bring it on. Computer chip, were you the one that made the comment about this thing? You gotta try this, the best stuff ever. 
Oh yeah. Two chrome chrome van city van life. <laughs> Everybody that does unboxings on the channel always have sharp these this sucks. Hey, a little card from them. Oh my gosh, this is so perfect. See, I love thoughtful gifts like this. This is so good. <laughs> Heck yes. A little pillow, a little stay weird. Oh, this is so good. That was an incredibly thoughtful gift. All right, and this one, open up the big one. Woo. A little song from Jackery. Woo. Whoa, this one is way better quality than, than the last solar panel I got. Wow, this is the Solar Saga 100. This is the one that goes with the Explorer 500 battery. And uh, she was gonna send me this a long time ago, but um, I told her not to really worry because I was leaving on my trip, but she sent it. And the quality on this one, because I used to have the small little foldable one for the Explorer 240, which they've now discontinued. Now I know why. This feels like some legitimate stuff. Still has the magnets when it shuts, but just the durability. Oh, so pumped up to plug this one into my Explorer 500 battery. Uh, Jackery, thanks for sending this to me. I'm stoked to put it to some use. <laughs> a little bit out of breath. <laughs> I'm breaking a sweat up in here. Getting products like this in the mail are one of the main reasons why I've chosen to work with these guys because the other solar panel did not feel like this. So it looks like that they've listened to what people have said and complaints about products, maybe suggestions on changes for the next one. And they put out products like this and listen to you guys. This is three, four, five times the quality of the previous panel. I am super stoked about this one here. And on that note, Adding one of those little portable batteries to your van is a beautiful, beautiful idea. Even if you are running a deep cycle battery in your van now, that smaller Explorer 240 will change your life for powering things outside of your van. That is my favorite battery. The small Explorer 240 is my favorite. That's the one I grab for the most because it provides me with everything that I need. The bigger one that's gonna be using that panel is awesome if you need to run something longer or if we're with more wattage output. I'm gonna leave some promo codes for you guys because every month Jackery sends me brand new promo codes for you, whether you're in Canada or the US and you're looking to buy either one of the two batteries, those promo codes are boom, right there and down in the description. So go, go check them out, you guys. Trust me, that is a product I will endorse forever because I believe in them. And I know you guys won't be disappointed. All right, I'm gonna actually sit down for this one. Oh, oh. how much of this is junk, man? Ooh, perfect. <laughs> My weight is over. Choose your whip. Light as air finish. This is not a paid advertisement. This is junk mail. It says to put this on your face, so. Okay. Here, corner of that package. Now I'm beautiful. Hopefully this isn't like hair remover. Could you imagine chrome read the package? No, it smells good. All right, moisturize, boys. Uh, this one's from Isabel in Vancouver. Oh, Isabel, thank you. It's a little bandana for Cruz. He's like. I'm not wearing that. <laughs> You're not expecting to put that on me, are you? Someone gave you this, buddy. <laughs> Getting gifts for Cruz, those are the things that I really enjoy to get in the mail. Um, Cruz hasn't really gotten a lot in the mail, but Disco, when we used to have Disco, people used to send him stuff all the time and it warms my damn heart. Like completely warms it. Isabel, thank you. All right, this one's from Donovan Baker. Donovan, thank you. I don't even know what it is yet. Thanks for all the inspiration, Donovan and Jody. Aw, oh, nice. Love getting stickers. Donovan, thank you. RV on the wayside. That must be a YouTube channel, Donovan. So far, no bills. That's always a good thing. Benjamin, Benjamin Rodriguez. 
Always scared of opening up all those. You're gonna rip something wide open. Aw, oh, Donovan, thank you. Nice, crisp $20 bill. Thank you, Donovan, super sweet of you. Very, very much appreciated. What a cool way to send money in the mail, though. It's like, because people always try to fold money. I've had money sent in the mail before, but they always try to fold it in something weird. This is actually super cool. All right, this one's from, from Tara Johnson. All right, Tara. Oh, lovey dovey's on the back for cruise. Hey, buddy. Tara? Tara sent me stickers. White Owl Adventures. Hey? Tara, thank you. We're gonna be sticking this on the roof of my van. For sure. How's that? We'll put you in the frame and me not. All right, last one. This one's from Kim Williams. Feels like a whole, Cruz, what do you want? These are a lot of stickers, Cruz. I can feel them. I can feel it. <laughs> like, more stickers than I don't even know what to do with. Cruz, look at all the stickers we got, buddy. We're gonna stick them on everything. We'll stick them on you. Ah, oh, these are really cool. Remember the weird girl that came to meet us in Quebec? Isa, I was just going through these and reading your notes and stuff on the back. This is the girl that came to my Quebec meetup. Super rad. These are cute. Look at we got postcards, buddy, with like stories on the back. You wanna read me a story? You wanna read me a story? You can't eat it, buddy. You can read it to me though, of course. I don't think that's why she gave them to us. I think she gave those to me so I can read them. Hey, can I have that back, please? Please, thank you. Great, now you, you got the letters wet. Now I'm not supposed to read those ones. Don't put on your head, you look like a little old lady. Hey, <laughs> so mean to you. There you go, buddy. Hey, look at you. Huh? You're handsome. You're all a scarf now. Anyway, everyone, I'm gonna let you go. These videos, believe it or not, are the worst ones to edit because you have to cut out all the little middle pieces, so they're actually very time consuming. Um, I got some stuff to take to recycling, and I'll see you guys all tomorrow. Uh, promo codes for Jackery are down below. Please go down and check it out, even just to check out the products, and I will keep you all posted on this thing once, while well, the rain you hear tinkering on the roof, goes away. I'm stoked for that. All right, everybody, stay weird, and I'll see you soon. Welcome back, my friends, to the show that never ends. We are so glad you could attend as you come inside, come inside. And love the opinions and a never to forget it one. Enter your mind, your body, and your soul, baby. As we take you on a roll into the next one hour of fun from your number one pirate radio. This time, brothers and sisters, it's the session five. Chris Shepard out of control, out of the controls with your number one baseline. Look out.